Thank you, John, for those nice words. How exciting is it to be here today? I honestly thought the champagne would already be flowing, but I'm told we need to wait till the end for the toast. So bear with us for a little bit. We did have some nice breeze pickups, so hopefully uh, everyone stays, stays cool. So my name is Troy Churchill. I am honored to serve as the uh, President and CEO of Cypress Living. Cypress Living provides operational support to both Cypress Cove, our beautiful life plan community that combines that luxurious retirement living with that assurance of quality health care, as well as Cypress at Home, which is our growing line of innovative services that really provide support to allow individuals to thrive in their homes. Our organization is made up of 600 plus team members, and we're happy to serve our residents here at uh, our beautiful Life Plan campus, as well as our um, clients that we serve out in the local Southwest Florida community. You may have noticed several video cameras. We are also simulcasting this in Edison Hall for the rest of our residents. And so for those residents there, we thank you for taking some time to join us this morning. Well, today's groundbreaking has been six plus years in the making. Our team has really persevered through so many challenges, barriers, obstacles, um, just to get to this point today. As many of you know, we launched our campaign um, at the beginning of 2020, and we all know what happened shortly after that. We, uh, little did we know there was a global pandemic really bearing down on us that would really change everything. And our team could have stopped. They could have uh, accepted defeat, thrown in the towel, but they didn't. They dug deep. They found ways to collaborate. They developed new approaches. They explored creative solutions and they implemented new models that have positioned us very well for continued success. So much so that our team's resilience and innovation were recognized this past year at both the state and national levels. It's a little warm up here, folks. <laughs> so at this time, I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize some of our partners and welcome some special guests um, who have also joined us here this morning. To our future residents of the Oaks, so many of you uh, made it take time of your schedules to come here today. We wouldn't be here today without you, and I want you to know that. You placed your trust in our team and stayed patient, very patient, through this process. And um, I want to be the first to once again welcome you to the Cypress family. We're so thankful that each of you are here. <laughs> to our board of directors, some of who are, are here today, John Nolan, you just heard from. We have Richard Aiken, um, Dan Adams, Tom Smoot, Claudia Cowart. Um, we have Dorothy Fitzgerald, Rita McSherry, Paul Nolan. Um, we have Will Prather. Did I miss anyone? I think I got everyone. This group really provided the vision and guidance um, to ensure a viable future for our organization. And they believed in what we're doing so much that they recently made a special gift to Cypress Cove of $6 million to help with the additional renovations and amenity enhancements to the main campus. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to Betsy Russell, President of the Resident Council, and the rest of the Resident Council that's here and joined with us today. This expansion project is part of our overall repositioning plan that we've been talking about for some time. And it really creates a beautiful new front door to our campus. How many of you really enjoyed how beautiful this campus is when you drove in today? The, the water, the, the nature, it's just uh, Health Park Florida is a really special place. And uh, we're thankful that uh, each of you are here. To our project team, um, this uh, includes Mike Moss and the rest of the sales and marketing team who really had to adapt their tactics, their strategies, which resulted in selling this project out as well as building a great uh, wait list. So thank you to, to those team members. To Matt Lux, Jeff Dunkel, Jennifer Harrison, our partners at Ziegler, um, Pondering Company, Dixon Hughes, Gray Robinson, um, and others who helped with the financing of this project. We thank you as well. To Mary Franklin, who you're going to hear from here in a few minutes, Joe Veldeman, Drumming Kamal, Louisa Kenamella, Christine Burns, and the rest of the Cypress family for their engagement and dedication um, to our mission. Andy Lynch, our partners um, with Howard Wheeler and his team from Christel, Craig Kimmel from ROPS. Um, I know we have members from Johnson Engineering, Stantec, uh, BCI Integrated Solutions, 
Universal Engineering and others who helped us get to this point of the project. And last but not least, we cannot forget our spouses. Some are here today. I know I saw Joe Velderman's wife and my very own wife is sitting up here in the front row. I wanna thank you for your encouragement and unwavering support. We also have some elected officials in the House today. At this time, I'd like to invite a member of the Florida House of Representatives, Spencer Rocha, to say a few words. As he's coming up, I'd also like to recognize a member of the Florida House of Representatives, Adam Botana, um, who is here. Thank you, Adam, for coming. We also have staff from Florida Senator Ray Rodriguez's team and staff from the uh, Florida House Representatives, Jenna Parsons Malika um, team as well. So thank you. We also have a former state senator in the house, Elizabeth Benequisto, who will always be our senator in our hearts. So thank you for being here. As well as Lee County uh, Commissioner Ray Sandelli. Thank you for coming out. And one more, we have Commander Morgan Bowden with the Lee County Sheriff's Office here as well. So thank you. Spencer, do you want to say a few words? Okay, good, um, good morning. Thank you all folks for coming out here and uh, braving the heat here in Southwest Florida. It's about to get much worse. Um, <laughs> thank you, Troy, and thank you, Mary. Uh, my name is Spencer Roach, and for the last four, year, four years, not only have I served in the Florida House, but I've had the privilege of serving on the Children, Families, and Seniors Subcommittee in the Florida House. And, and that committee was described by the former chairman, Mel Ponder, as a gateway of hope for children, families, and seniors. And one of the things that we are acutely focused on there is protecting seniors and putting seniors first. And I had the, the privilege of touring um, the facilities here during COVID, during the height of COVID. And I got to see firsthand some of the protocols that they were putting in place, not only to protect the health of seniors, but to ensure that they still were living a quality life here. So we, we learned some things there that we were able to take and implement its best practices in other parts of the state. So I want to thank the staff here at Cypress Cove for doing that for our seniors, for keeping seniors safe and putting them first. So thank you guys for that. And you know, when you think about the role of Florida and where Florida is geographically and what Florida has become, Florida has really become a mecca uh, for people seeking a better life. And we have many people that come from an island nation just 90 miles away to seek a better life here in Florida. And we have many Americans that spend their whole lives working in other parts of the country so that they can come to Florida and retire and enjoy a quality of life here in their golden years. And one thing we learned with this map drawing process, which you've heard about in the news, is that over the last decade, uh, Florida has, has added 2.7, almost 3 million new residents in the state. And Lee County, Florida is the number one county in the state of Florida for net migration. The number two is actually Polk County. But a lot of the folks moving to Florida and a lot of the folks moving to Lee County are seniors. So we are cognizant of that and ever more focused on ensuring that those seniors that are coming here after having worked hard their lives and want to enjoy their retirement in Florida have a quality of life uh, when they reach those golden years. So I just want to thank um, the staff here at this facility for doing this. This is something that we can support uh, and advocate for because it's not just about um, ensuring that seniors have a, a place to go and that they're healthy, that's important. We want to make sure they have a quality of life here. So again, I want to thank the staff here. I look forward to supporting you and seeing the facility. Congratulations, uh, Troy, Mary, and uh, let's get to work. Thank you. We still have a few more folks to thank. So. Uh, Wanted to recognize also our partners at Lee Health, um, Dr. Larry Antonucci. We have Chris Simino here, uh, Mike Wickich, Alex Greenwood, Michael Nashif and his team, and many of their familiar faces from Lee Health that are out in the crowd. So thank you all for coming. We also have uh, Jim Nathan and David Klein, two strong supporters of, of what we're doing here. Thank you for taking the time to, to join us. We have Steve Bamer with Florida Leading Age. Thank you for coming down from Tallahassee to join us here. Um, we have John Johnson with Johnson & Blanton. Thank you for being here as well. And uh, Lynn Thorpe with the Dubin Center. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to be here. Let's give everyone another round of applause and, and thank you for all taking some time here. At this point, I'm gonna call up Mary Franklin, our Executive Director of Cypress Cove, 
um, to uh, continue on with the program. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. On behalf of Cypress Cove and as the executive director, thank you all for joining us in the celebration today. A special welcome to our future Oaks residents. It has been a wonderful pleasure getting to know you along this journey. And I am sure that in your own unique way, you will be a great addition to our vibrant and active community. As Troy mentioned, the process of creating the Oaks community has been very intentional. A partnership with RLPS Interior Design Group and construction team of Chris Stell has ensured the development of a neighborhood focused on quality instead of density. RLPS has been a partner of Cypress Cove since the inception of the design of the original campus. The Oaks community will complement many of the same design features. Just one example is the American flag that graces the front of the harbor entrance. That will be replicated at the Oaks Clubhouse. Additionally, the furnishing and design of the Oaks Clubhouse pays homage to traditional Southwest Florida architecture. The Oaks amenities will complement those of the main campus as well. The Oaks will include a cutting edge fitness center and group exercise room, an open air culinary experience with indoor and outdoor seating just steps away from a heated outdoor pool, a hot tub, a cabana, and a firewall feature. And I don't know, but I'm looking forward to hosting a lot of poolside parties there. The Florida Native Greenway that trail that will connect the Oaks to the main campus will not only offer a wonderful walk through nature, but will be anchored with a tennis court and a pickleball court near the existing dog park. The 24 villas and 24 elevated residences will be equipped with the latest technology from our partners at K4 Connect. These advances will help ensure Oaks residents are living their best life with more free time to do what they love. The creation of the Oaks and the continued success of Cypress Cove will have a lasting economic impact on the greater Southwest Florida community. Our growing number of staff will enjoy economic stability and will have numerous opportunities to further their careers. The addition of the Oaks means that the community itself will have another dynamic choice in their retirement life care community options. My calendar is marked for December 2023 when we all gather back here once again for the ribbon cutting ceremony and we officially welcome the Oaks residents to the Cypress Cove family. At this time, Cypress Cove resident and resident council president Betsy Russell will share a few words. Betsy? I haven't been looking at the whole tent, now I get to do it. And it's thrilling because we're full. And we've looked forward to this. The resident council has many, many meetings where we've had conversations about this day and what it's gonna be like for the next 18 months as we move to uh, really fulfilling this part of our lives of opening up Cypress Cove for one more neighborhood and one more group of friends. 
Uh, we've told you, I've, I've tried to meet as many of the re new residents as I could, and if I didn't have a chance to talk with you, please forgive me. And what I want to do is make a promise to the staff in the room that I will be on my best behavior if you will invite me to some of the future resident meetings. When these people move in, I'm going to be on a first name basis with almost everyone. And that's a promise from me and from the residence council. This is exciting. I have lived at Cypress Cove now for three years. I knew when I came I was going to jump in with both feet, and I've done that. Uh, I am busier than I have ever been in my retired life, and I've been retired for 20 years. What is wonderful about that is everything on my calendar are things that I chose to do because they were important to me, they were important to what I saw as my uh, commitment and obligation to make this a very, very warm and enriched community for every resident here. Uh, they, although some of our uh, visuals did blow over for the wind, the most important one is here, and it's permanent. It's not coming over, and that's my, the most important one to me because I love swimming. So you will see me around that pool almost as much as you're going to see me in the Edison Hall. I will be playing uh, Mahjong at one of those tables in the shade on occasion, and I'm already shopping for my cover-up gear so I can eat poolside. So be ready for me. I'm going to have another way to get to this end of the campus because I've got to get a little tremor if I want to live as long as I want to live. So I'll be walking on those trails, and I hope that you, I will be seeing you and your four-legged friends, because some of you I know will bring your four-legged friends. The residents in the harbor can't all have pets. Uh, because they're on different floors and we only allow them on first floor, but also because they found it is more than they can do to take care of them. But most residents who have had pets all their lifetime know the four-legged friends by first name. They might not know their owner's name, but we know the pet's name. So that would be part of us getting to know you. Uh, you know, like I said, you will not imagine how many choices you have, but these are going to be your choices. We're going to welcome you with open arms, and we hope that, like I said, put in a word for me. I want to be invited to that next party when they ask you to come back on campus. Uh, I'm going to ask Mary to come, no, Troy to come up now for a few more words. So now's the good part. At this point, we're going to prepare for our toast. So I think our culinary teams will be handing out uh, our champagne. We've got a lot of hands back there. So I'm, I'm sure we've got some team members that are going to be helping. Here they come. As we're passing out the champagne, I, I also want to give a, a special thanks um, to our culinary teams uh, for this beautiful champagne and for the, uh, the hors d'oeuvres. Also want to thank our technology team. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to put this in. Our facilities team, our sales team, and the Christelle team as well. Thank you for, for making today's event so special.
Mike, it, it's only one glass, not two, buddy. I know. <laughs> So I think we are all set. Please raise your glasses with me. Some people might not know, but this year Cypress Cove turned 23. Can you believe it? And today we start a new chapter with this groundbreaking. So here's to another successful 20 years of serving the Southwest Florida. Cheers. Hope you all enjoyed that. At this time, it's, we're, it's, it's the part of the program where we're going to throw some dirt. So we have a couple pre-planned groups to start, but please know that everyone will have the opportunity to put a hat on and grab a shovel and um, take a photo. If you do take a photo, be sure to tag us um, at Cypress Cove at Health Park, Florida. Um, we, always, we always love that. And also be sure to pick up your parting gift um, at the back table. And thank you again for joining us today as we work together to create better tomorrows for Southwest Florida. Thank you, everyone.